feel like I'm gonna run into her. I feel like I'm gonna run into her. I feel like I'm gonna run into her. I feel like I'm gonna run into her. Ah! Are we like in a loop? Ah! Ah! Get, open up! <laughs> oh my god! Diamond in the rough, I don't know what it is they see in me Go down as a legend in my city cause we beat the streets Trying to spread the wealth around the block, no I can't keep from me Told me I should leave, I see the bigger picture and it's way bigger than me Can't be living like a king, but my people need to eat If I got it, then you got it, we gon' get back on our feet and I put it on me Alright, we gotta make our way right back through here I wanna go back down there again, but I don't think there's anything else down there for me So we're gonna go right back over here and we're gonna pick it up where we left off in the last episode. Go ahead, shut the door. School. Yeah, school. But before we proceed, let's get these introductions out the way. What is going on, guys? And welcome back to the Real Flix channel. And this is Silent Hill Short Message. Now, the thing is, I don't know if this is gonna be the finale. I don't want it to drag out too long. But when I started the game, I saw that I was only 33% done. I was, as, for as long as we played yesterday, I, I could have sworn. We were at least halfway. So, depending how fast we get through this, it might be the finale. I mean, obviously, the title of this video tells you right there if it's the finale or not. Of course, I don't know yet because we haven't played yet. Could be the finale, could not. But I think I'm definitely going to be... Uh, I'm not going to skip skip over the important parts. But as far as like some of a lot of the adventuring parts is that don't really correlate to what's going on i think i'm gonna skip past those just so we can wrap this game up so in the last episode we started off with our character her name is anita she woke up in the villa randomly and so she was looking for her friend mia who sent her a text message saying to come you know come meet up with her long story short come to find out mia is dead has been dead for quite some time she you know offed herself i can't say the term otherwise youtube starts tripping but she offed herself but throughout the adventures we noticed that Anita is very envious and like jealous, not in a bad way of Mia, but like more like she looks up to her like very badly. So much so to where she was at, she actually committed self harm to herself so she could get the same amount of attention that Mia got. But that didn't work because shortly after we woke up in the villa again, like starting all over. So we had to walk through the villa again in the same areas, but of course, certain different things were happening. And so before we ended the last episode, we ended up here. We walked past the gate, as you saw at the beginning of the video, where we couldn't walk through before. So now we're at this part of, I guess, the school. So this is where we're picking it back up, you guys. So without wasting more time, let's get into this. And already, we starting with the, with the ambient, quiet music. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. I'm confident this time. What's up? What's going to pop up? Can I get through one of these doors? No? Okay. Can I get through this one? No? Okay. Okay, I guess we just walked through here. What's up? Who behind here? Let me see. Oh my god. Whew. All right. So flashbacks, I take it. All right. Why is everybody huge? Everybody. Come on, bro. Everybody is like tall. Dumb. What? What? Did they call me dumb? Okay. So I take it this is when she was at school and people were just making fun of her. Go away! Who threw that? Was it you? Oh, it was. Yo, I'd be tripped out. Shadowy figures that can legitimately touch you. All right, what we got here? Can't touch nothing. All right, watch out! Move, man! Get out of my way! Move! Get! Move! Oh, okay. There we go. I'm supposed to interact with this locker. I was like, yo, what am I missing? All right, what we got? What the hell? It's all my stuff. Stop throwing stuff at me. Freak. Slut. Your arm's fucking weird. What a freak. Cocky piece of shit. Damn. Why are they so mean to her? Whoa. So. What are they blaming? What are they blaming Anita for? Like, why are they so mean to her in school? Oh. Yo, I can't stand bullies. Don't ever be a bully. And if you see somebody getting bullied, make sure you step up for them. Make sure you stand up to them. What is this? Am I controlling this? What? Where are we even going? Can I run? No, I can't. Of course not. 
So I'm trying to figure out how this ties into Mia. Oh, by the way, after looking back at what was chasing us in the first episode, that looks like it's Mia. Obviously disguised as the monster. Because the monster had that white sweater on like Mia did. And it was showing the legs like how, basically in the flashbacks when we saw Mia, that's exactly how the monster looked. It's just that her head was wrapped up in the flowers and she had flowers, you know, everywhere else. So that looked like that was Mia. Okay, so we game saving, passed out. Wait a minute. Are we going back? Oh, I don't like this. Every time it glitches like this, it's like it means we're going to start running. Can I hold on? If I back up? No, it, yeah, okay. Oh boy, okay. I think we're gonna start running. Let's get it. Oh no. Where's it at? Where's it at? I don't like this. Where you at, Mia? Oh, I don't like the sounds. Oh, she's behind me. She's behind me. Go! Open up! Oh, I missed. Oh, no. Oh, go. Woo. Woo. Oh, my God. I feel like I'm going to run into her. I feel like I'm going to run into her. I feel like I'm going to run into her. I feel like I'm going to run into her. Ah! My God. I don't like this. I do not like these running scenes. Oh boy, okay. Why are you chasing me? Oh God, all right. Here we go, come on. Okay. Bust through this way. Where am I supposed to go? Where is she at? Where is she at? She busts up somewhere. Okay. Bust open. Bust open. Uh, open up. Go through here. Where you at? Where you at, Mia? Ah! No! <laughs> oh my God! Not again! Not again! Yeah, yeah, it's happening until we can figure out how to get out of here. I mean, you can't defend. You know what? Let me go straight this time. Don't run. I'm run. Oh my god, why can I not run? Oh! Get 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 going. Get going. Okay, this is a new area. Get ah! Where's she at? Oh, I don't like this. Where's she at? Oh! Oh, she right there. At least I can see her. At least I know where she at. Unless she freaking pops up somewhere else behind me. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't, oh, I didn't even see that. Where am I going? Am I even going the right way? It does not look like it. Open up. I'm in the same spot. Oh, no. Are we like in a loop? Ah! Ah! No! 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 Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> oh my god, I don't like this. I don't think we're gonna finish the game. Okay, I think I'm in the right area because get we're, we're hitting areas that we normally wouldn't hit. Get ah! No! <laughs> Oh my god! No! Ugh. Come on, can we please stop? Please stop! I don't want to be here no more!
God. <sighs> Y'all, g- give me a minute. Two hours later. Okay. <laughs> Not again. Not again. Okay. <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? <laughs> Yo. I- and you gonna message me? Find it. No, I was too busy being chased. What are you talking about? Find what? Yeah, nah, I just, I would have just been like, you know what? F off. What the fuck am I supposed to find? I wouldn't give a damn about looking for anything. I'll be trying to get up out of here. I'm sorry. So what is this? Why can't I examine it? Yo, uh uh-uh. So we're back where we were last episode. We're back to this drawing and stuff. Okay. So. This guy looks familiar. This wasn't here last time. They're hurt. Okay. Where are you going? Heaven? That's right. Going to heaven, right? Only. Okay, flashback. Yeah, see how she's dressed? She's dressed like how the monster looks. That's Mia. Mia is the monster. Hmm? I'm calling her now. What's that? Oh, you like what you see? Not really. Come closer then. I mean, you cute and everything, but I don't... Wait a sec. You two are from my class. You too. Those glasses look good on you. It's a guy and a girl. Uh, sorry, she's so cute. I couldn't help myself. Is that uh Amelia? The the friend that You're we're texting? To stop by any time. You're always welcome. <laughs> I'm assuming that's the friend that we're messaging. Or is that her? Is that supposed to be her? Maya only ever cared about Amelie. Oh, Amelie. My bad. I keep saying the names wrong. Amelie. So is that Amelie? She didn't see me. I was invisible to her. All right, bro. Chill. Calm down. She really just wants acceptance. That's crazy. Like, she can't... You got the music kicking in, like nice little detective music. What about this one? The girl in this picture is only. Okay. What does that mean, though? Can I finally examine this? January thirty-first. I haven't really been in a good mood since the mor- this morning. I tried to lose myself in my graffiti, but I wasn't feeling it. Maybe it's because Mom and I argued this morning. Probably not. We've clashed before. I've known for a long time we value different things. Is it because my classmates tease me? I doubt it. They don't know me. They're just uh, they're just taking their issues out on someone. It's got to be because I lost that special person and the hope he gave me, right? Why do I feel like this? I've never felt like this before. All right, here we go. Please don't be another chase sequence. I'm, I'm not trying to. Here we go. Whoa! Library. So I'm back at school. Now we're at the dang library? Alright, flashback. Let's get it. Why is it so dark? There's no beauty in any of this. Oh, oh sorry. I was just thinking about something. So were those those insults were about Mia, not Anita, not our character. I borrowed that book you wanted. And if so, why was she teased so I heavily? I finished it, so it's all yours. Because if she was the one getting bullied, then I kind of see how she it drove her to you know jumping off the the villa. I wrote my impressions in a letter. That's what they want me to find. Find it. She's going to say it. Read it when you get home, okay? It's the letter she wants us to find. 
Find it. Find the letter. The way she was acting right now and how she's walking off, it's like this was the final time we saw her. Where was it? That book. Okay. Oh, here we go. Find it. Find what? The letter? I would reply, unless you're going to say something else, I'm not replying no more. Find what in a place like this? What is this music? We didn't have none of this dramatic music last episode. I mean, I'm all for it, you know, but. So, CB, her initials are back on here. Do we have to leave again? See, look, the music kicks back in. I like this. Okay. All right, what's this? The Winch Hunt of Kettenstedt. In 1930, Germany, the town of Kettenstedt attracted wealthy entrepreneurs and enjoyed a period of economic prosperity. Behind the success, though, was supposedly a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance, I'm sorry, I can't say that, and mystical powers to guide the entrepreneurs. She would come to be known as the Witch of the Far East and were greatly respect, was greatly respected by the German people. However, in 1947, the entrepreneurs suffered great losses. A large fire spread throughout their industrial parks, losing them the majority of their factories. The Witch of the Far East, who was hospitalized, jumped off the roof of the hospital and offed herself. The witch has been diagnosed with an unknown illness, and many believe the fire pushed her over the edge. Some citizens, however, claim that, the witch, uh, that a witch hunt was to blame. They argued the witch's rise to prominence angered the mayor's party, who used the chaos from the fires as a cover for the murder. There is no evidence to support this claim, and many now view it as a mere conspiracy theory. But the mayor's party did manage to regain influence in the town after the witch's death. Since then, citizens have started to believe any stroke of bad luck is a result of the witch's curse. A witch's curse? Is that why I saw what I did before? Oh, so we're learning more about the history of this town and why things are happening or why students are just offing themselves. Okay, so there's got to be something else in here. Something else that we're missing. We must find it. Here we go. Right here. Looks what we got? like there's space for a book here. Wait, I think I know these. What is it? That was the book that uh, uh, Mia was, was reading when we saw her at the table. No way. Why? What, what, what does that mean? Oh, that's what it means. It's time to leave. Her signature isn't there no more. All right. But where are we going to? We're back at the school. Oh, we're all hallway. Shut the door behind us. Yep, there we go. Oh, I could go back in if I want, but why would I? All right, let's go. The biggest mystery I'm trying to figure out is what was it that drove her over the edge? Why was she being insulted so badly by the kids there? It's like that other school. Why does this always happen? I've never seen uh, that before. Maya. Text message. Here we go. You alright, Anita? You left me on rest. I got worried. Sorry, I was just thinking about Maya. Not sure if you know this, but Maya was bullied at school. Right, right. I know. Okay, so she does know. But she said she was okay. I figured I shouldn't push the issue. Then it was too late. Why didn't she say anything before she died? I wish she had talked to us. Maybe she didn't see me as a friend. That's not true. But why didn't you message that to her? You just left her on red again. Okay, so no point to go back there. Okay. What we got? Who behind here? Oh. Okay. 
So maybe now when we go to this desk, something will happen. So they started calling her the witch. Oh man, I, I'm just I'm, I can't figure this out. What? Here we go, locker. Something gonna be behind us one time. My locker. Why is it locked? Because is you put a padlock on there. I don't want to see. Oh no. We have to find the combination. Where, how, where am I supposed to find it at? Oh look, there's numbers on the on the wall. Okay, we can try to figure this out. All right, so two, something up here. Two, three. I don't see any more numbers. I just see two and three. Could the pass? Oh, look, one. Okay, so there's one right there. So two, three, one, and then what's in here? Maya's locker. No, it's not here. It wasn't here before either. This is her locker? They just vandalized the heck out of it. Spray painted all her stuff? That's messed up. Okay. Okay, so we found two, three, and then one. So maybe there's a number behind one of these pillars right here? No? Oh, above the door. Wait a minute. That wasn't there before. It was not there before. Y'all, scroll back. That was not there before. Okay. So now, what order do we put it in? Two, three, Wait a minute, so it's in order. Zero, one, two, three. Could it be that? So we know it's one through four. Or sorry, one, two, one through three. So I'm sorry guys. I really just like to figure it out instead of looking it up. So let's let's just let's just do it in order. Two, three. It won't open. No. So how about backwards? Three. Two. One zero like a countdown no it's got to be an order okay so when we first walked into the room it's zero then the second number right after that that we see is three then the second one is or the, the third one is one and then the last one's two so zero three one two let's see zero three one two I know what's in here. Hey! We got it! I can't look away. What's in here? Here it is. Is that what we need what's to find? This letter. Was it inside the book? Okay. Remember when I said I wanted to live like a cherry blossom? To be beautiful and dignified for a fleeting moment. Simply by letting go of life. This isn't even to us. This is to Amali. Daring to bloom, knowing it won't last. And so falling in vivid color. I wish I could live like that. I want to experience true beauty. Okay. If only for a moment. Was this her goodbye letter? I met someone who made me feel different. He showed me he. a whole new world. Gave me hope. I honestly thought he could help me find a new me. I felt it with all my heart. But people didn't understand us. Us. Didn't want that from us. In the end, they took my hope from me. They took him away. So, something happened to this guy that she had a crush on? People. People who can't achieve beauty seek comfort in others. They fear anyone different. Did this guy convince her to off herself? Try to tear them down. I can't take much more of this. Ooh, she getting emotional. I wish you and I had... I wish you and I could run away together, Amelie. Just me and you. Oh, damn. So, of course, our character... 
Anita is going to feel even more insecure because obviously Maya has a special connection with uh, Amelie. Maya. She was asking Amelie for help. But I just... Uh... Another flashback or what? So that's her locker. That's Maya's locker. Maya, you have everything. You're way more talented than me. That's so Amelie. Why? Why take Amelie from me? Who acted like I wasn't even there? Whoa, hold on. Amelie is my friend. She's mine. Is this a plot twist? I'm telling you, like in the last uh, episode, did I, Anita? I only wanted to take her down a bit. She she was taking Amelie away from me. Did Anita me. take she out wouldn't Maya? Pay attention to me. You needed a boyfriend, is what you needed, girl. Who was I supposed to know she'd actually kill herself? <laughs> so again, like I said last episode, I saw. I'm feeling like Anita, our character, she may have been a, uh, a source that has something to do with Maya's death but maybe like something happened where she she has memories that she can't remember now that we got that out the way I guess the only place we could do is hit turn right back around and go back it's all your fault why do I feel like this is going to be a chase sequence start glitching go ahead and yep yep there we go there we go damn it I knew it the game started saving oh <sighs> it started glitching why is why do I have goosebumps now this soft music ain't gonna make this no more better. Okay, all right. Woo! All right, y'all ready? Let's get it. There we go. All right. All right, we're going right through here. Boom! On me. I need to know where she at. Well, that's too dark. That's too dark. I don't like that. I don't like how dark it is. I don't like how dark it is. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. Okay, I went through there. Do I keep going straight? Ah! Oh my god! Go! Go! Oh my god. Oh my god. And this is getting so much darker too. Is she behind me? Where's she at? I don't like this. I don't like this. Open up! My God! I feel like she could bust out somewhere. Okay, no. So she's behind me because uh, she came out this door right here. Open up! Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like these corners. Oh, I don't like these corners. Open up! Ah! <laughs> oh no! Oh, I'm, it's a wrap. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. At least, at least I was able to just see her, see her coming. Oh my God. Okay. At least I saw her coming. It wasn't that bad. But it's getting worse. I should just pop up, and then that little flutter running she be doing. I'm so sorry. <sighs> I am not a fan of that. She gonna bust open, right? Yep. Oh, there we go. All right. There we go. All right. So now we just gotta run through there. What are you doing? Oh my god. 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 Turn back around. Woo! Get, 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 go! <clears throat> Oh my God. Open the door and let's go. My goodness. Okay. So these lockers are like a dead end. Oh my God. Open up. Oh, okay. Turn back around. Go back this way. Back that way. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, Maya. Nope, nope, nope. Back up. 
Back it on up. You go over there. Go over there. Let me throw. Look at me. Look at you. I'm not looking at a damn thing. I'm going this way. Does that slow me down? Am I not supposed to go this way? Get. Come on. Come on. Where we at? Where we at? Ooh, no. Get. Open up. Oh my god. Yes, that's exactly what she's doing. Oh, my heart. Ah! You were supposed to like be behind me, like right behind me. Oh my God. I'm not feeling this. I'm not feeling this. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. It don't make no sense. And then you bust up right there, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Then we'll go this way. And then we'll cut through this way. And then we'll cut through this way. And then we'll cut through that way. We'll cut back over here. Go right back over here. Open up. Get up in here. Okay. Okay, so this is something different. Okay, so this is where we're supposed to go. Uh, but now the question is, I gotta hit these corners. Be careful with these corners, because I don't know where she, come on, go, go up there, go up there. Oh, thank you, Jesus. It's literally a maze that you have to figure out like every time you do it. Oh, my God, Lord have mercy. Wait, we're redoing the same exact thing. This is exactly what happened when we made it to the roof in the last episode. Don't tell me we're gonna jump off again. I finally get it. I know what you wanted me to find. Oh, okay. What's up? What was it? Find peace? Find self confidence? Anita, what's up? I'm so sorry, Amelie. Maya died. Because yep. I killed her. Yep, I knew it. I knew she had something to do with it. What are you talking about? We're about to get the story you of what and happened. Maya wrote letters to each other, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. But then Maya jumped off the villa roof. No, we got in an argument. Well, there and was I... supposed to be one in the last book you had, too. What? That she pushed letter. <laughs> that letter was a message for you. Well, why are you telling me this, Anita? Because I was jealous of Maya. Right? I was afraid she'd take you away from me. And she's about to jump off again. Right. She's about to jump off again. Never have been born. Oh, wait, wait, Anita. So now she's about to do this twice. And she's about to wake right back up in the villa because that is not how this game is supposed to go. Bruh. Uh-huh. Look, we're gonna wake right back up in the villa, aren't we? What? Oh, wait, why are we why are we starting off in a chase sequence? Uh, but I jumped off the building. Twice! Twice you did. Count your blessings. Other people wouldn't have made it. Oh, but her, ooh, her body's there. Oh, now she tripper tripper. Even if I die, this doesn't end. How many times do I have to go through this? You are forever confined to the villa now. Bruh, find what? She gonna say find it.
Um, oh, body's gone. Okay, it's your fault, your fault. Okay, I don't like this because this is the chase sequence. What is this, though? Can I not examine this? I mean, obviously, this is clearly something. Oh, wait, what's it say? Oh, it doesn't say anything. All right, I'm not feeling this. I don't like it. What's this? February 4th. I ended up heading up. Ooh, oh, hold on. We might get some context. Hold on. <clears throat> February 4th. I ended up heading to the roof of the villa. Couldn't help but think of the girl who jumped to her death last year. Actually, a lot of girls blank themselves here. All teens supposedly know the place is a famous spot for people to blank themselves. Looking down from the roof, I could see how high up I was. The thought of a light breeze sending me flying made me feel a little queasy. Were they not scared? What was going through their heads? Were they jumping away from something or to something? All right. Oh, come on. Why are we here, though? All right. So here's all this stuff. I don't like this because this is this is where I get chased. Okay. Don't you dare go outside. Why? Why not? What's in here? Okay. All right. Okay, our phone's messing up. I don't know why. Clearly something's about to happen. No hope. Something about to happen. Either the door going to shut or something going to happen. All right, what's up? This is... Wait. Me and my mom lived here. Uh-oh. This is our living room. Okay. And the music is off? It's dead silent? So let's just think before we hit this living room. She about to have flashbacks of, of at home. What's going on? It's way too quiet. December 29th, 2011. I finally lost touch with him. I'll never see him again. I thought I found my happily ever after, but it was all a dream. However, I haven't lost everything. I still have my children, my cute little angels who light up my life. Who is this by? Not her mom. freaked me out okay where we at wait did we just go in a loop some pizza February 10th, 2012. My new man showed up to my place today with pizza. Children definitely need a father, but they still won't take to him. He looked annoyed when he left. I hope he doesn't hate me. February 22nd, 2012. My daughter drew a picture of our family. We're smiling and holding hands. I wish she would have drawn him as well. Maybe she doesn't realize he might join our family. She is slower than other kids her age. What? I'm sure she'll catch up and pass them soon enough. I know how to raise a child. I'm a good mother. I'm nothing like that heartless bee who raised me. I won't fill my children with hate and fear. Why does this sound like Anita? Because clearly her mom wasn't the best person. Wait, y'all hear that? Shh. Oh, that's my background. My bad. I thought it was the game over here tripping. Okay. So, what are we doing in the bedroom? Here we go. March 7, 2012. He showed up again with a smile on his face and a pizza in his hands from the new place he was raving about. My daughter hated the pizza, though. She's extremely picky. I should probably teach her to eat things she doesn't like. I know I was forced to eat things I hated when I was a kid, but I guess it has to be done. The kids finally blew up in front of him today. He was exhausted from work and said he wanted to relax. He makes me feel so good, but I can't do the same for him. Maybe I'm not strict enough with them. We need him for a happy life, and I need them to realize that. I know it's probably a little harsh, but maybe if they don't see the light for a while, they'll finally see the light in him. 
He told me the banging on the closet door was making it hard for him to unwind. If they would just be quiet for a little bit, everything would be fine. What's wrong with him? He doesn't visit as much as he used to. If I don't figure something out, I may never see him again. Hmm. Okay. Why does that room seem like really big or Anita seems like she's a kid? Oh, here we go. What's this? I'm giving up my life for you. Okay. Uh, okay. Whoa. Okay, so we're going in a loop because now the bathroom is full of. Tr oh, as time goes on, it's getting worse and worse in here. Now there's another journal. Okay. May 9th. Everything seems to be going well now that we've been uh, going on, out on dates. He was worried about my kids, so he brought them a bunch of books and toys. They should be enough to keep them occupied, right? I've been going through so much lately that I've left the place in a bit of a mess. I should clean it, but by the time I get back, I have no energy. Uh, May 25th. I got contacted by the, by the Child Welfare Center. I guess some nosy B or A-hole is uh, in my building reported hearing a child crying at night in my place. The F do they know? He hasn't called me much lately. Am I destined to be alone? Everyone else is out enjoying life while I'm working my A off raising kids. Why am I the effing bad guy? July 19th. If I hadn't had children, maybe I'd be planning my summer vacation with my friends right now. Nothing matters anymore. I'm just crawling through life. I know what's going on in the closet, but I can't look. I just want to be happy. What's wrong with that? I'm done. So, her mom clearly wasn't ready to have kids and wanted to basically just live her best life so it got to a point where she just grew it stop she grew irritated with them okay. Eesh. that doesn't sound good okay miss krista planner we have reached we have reached out to you repeatedly but have ne but I've yet to receive a response. We take this to mean you have no intention of redeeming this issue. You are in violation of German civil code. Uh, yo, the, the that noise is tripping me out while I'm trying to read. You are in violation of civil code right, article 1631 section B according to the federal court as instructed us to take your children. Should you have any objections to this please contact us as soon as possible. Frank Fisher uh, Kittenstadt Child Welfare Center. Oh, okay. So now we're back here. So this has to be the end of it. Yo, you can still hear the damn baby in the fridge. Oh, what? That's what that was? That's why we're hearing that baby crying. Hold up. Boy found dead in a refrigerator. Mother arrested August 4th. A boy was found dead today in a refrigerator in the home of his 41 year old mother. Person A, who arrested, who was arrested by local authorities for hiding the body. Person A claims to have locked her son in the closet for more than a day to punish him. And when she noticed he wasn't moving the next morning, she hid his lifeless body in the refrigerator Investigators were conducting an autopsy to determine the cause of death. According to the investigation, person A's daughter ran to a neighbor's house to call the police and report her mother for ne neglect. When detectives arrived to the house, they discovered her brother's body in the refrigerator and arrested the mother after she confessed to her crime. You just So is this Anita's mom? Or was this Maya? Is So it's either Okay, it's Anita because she said that her mom said that she should never have been born. So it's Anita.
a curse from her mom. What? She's standing right there too. So, well, how's that tying to Maya, though? You're wrong, Mom. I am your daughter. And just like you, I'm cursed. Uh. We gonna leave it right here. That's gonna do it for today's episode, you guys. Yo, crazy, crazy episode, you know. Um, so we got a little bit more information. So Maya was getting bullied through school. Now, as far as why exactly they decided to pick on her, it's still a mystery that I'm trying to figure out. Unless you guys figured it out and I'm just dumb and I can't figure it out, let me know in the comment section below. But other than that, Anita is the one who had the abusive mother. Anita was the little girl that was getting picked on, or not getting picked up, but her mom despised because her mom couldn't have a normal life, hanging out, partying, having fun with friends. So she had a son and Anita. And because she felt like old boy was gonna be out the picture, she decided to punish her. You guys saw what happened. So her mom is a big reason on why she's so insecure that's crazy next episode would definitely be the finale again um before we started this this episode we were 33 percent done we've been playing for almost an hour now so pretty sure we're well over halfway but regardless next episode definitely will be a finale no matter how long it takes the next episode will be the finale i'm gonna finish it up rather if it's an hour or whatever but i want to cut this one right here this is a good cliffhanger i hope you guys enjoyed uh please make sure you like subscribe leave any notifications or sorry leave any comments down below on how you guys felt about today's episode what you guys want me to play next and i will take that under advisement i can't wait to play this next week but hey until then guys take care of yourself and i'm gonna see you in the next video